Okay, so in this video I quickly wanted to show you how to insert an image into a Inventor part file and trace out that image um, and then extrude what you've traced out so that you can, um, uh, this is for the sign project, I think that it might be pretty helpful. So I'm going to create a new uh, part file here really quick. Um, and then I'm going to actually find, I want to use this Bears logo, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'll trace out just one of the letters here, but I'll kind of show you how the process works. So I would say right-click on this image, save it as. I'm going to save mine on my desktop. You're probably going to want to save this image to your U drive. Okay, so I've already saved this image. I'm going to come back here to Inventor, click on Start a 2D Sketch, click on the XY Plane, then I'm going to go to image right over here and I'm going to find that image that I saved. Now, um, yeah, I'll find the image that I saved and I'm going to click on open. I'm going to click one time, right click and then click OK. Now I'm going to zoom out and I can place this image. So I kind of want to place this at the origin and I also kind of want to scale this down. This is a little bit big so I can hover up to, the, to one of the corners here. Um, right there and then I can kind of just shrink this down a little bit okay that looks pretty good I'm just kind of position this where I want okay so now that I have this image in here I'm just gonna go ahead and start tracing out and I'm just gonna trace out one of the letters so I'll trace out the B but if you obviously wanted to trace out all of the letters you'd have to do all the letters so I'll start with a line I'm just gonna start and I'm just kind of following where this letter goes. So as soon as this B starts to curve right about there, I'm just going to go ahead and stop. Whoops. Let me undo that. Um, let me look at this plane here. Sorry. Click on line. I'm going to have this line come to, I don't know, probably about here. Right click, click OK. I'll create another line from there to about where it is on the top. Whoops, undo that. I want this to be a straight line. Zero degrees. Okay, that's pretty good right there. Right click, click OK. Now the next part I'm going to do is I'm going to use an arc. And I can kind of click right here, kind of click where this arc ends. And you'll notice if I try to have this follow, it's not going to quite be able to follow the line. So what I'm going to need to do is I right click, click cancel. I'm going to click on arc. And rather than having this arc go all the way here, I'm just going to want this arc to go like halfway around the B. So I don't know, maybe probably right about there. And have this, I'm going to have it just do its best to follow this line. Um, it might not be perfect. And in fact, that time I didn't really like it. So I'll click on arc one more time here. I'll have it go to about there. It's not going to be perfect, but that actually looks pretty good to me. So I'll click. Still on arc here. Click here. Now I'll click here. And now I'm going to have my arc finish. Okay, click. Now I'll have this come up to, I don't know, probably about there. Okay, that looks good to me. And then let's have let's finish out the arc. So notice I'm having to kind of break the arc into different sections. Okay, and it's not perfectly following this. So that one I didn't love. Maybe I'll have it go to like right about there. Okay, and then finish. The arc you can use, you just kind of got to break it up a little bit to have it best follow. So that looks pretty good following around. Again, it's not perfect down there, but this will do. Um, and then I'm going to click on the line tool and we're going to have to get the inside of this B as well. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to get this done. And then this arc, I bet I can have it just go the whole way around. Something like that. That looks good to me, and I'll do the inside of this one too. So kind of start from there, go to about there, go up and over. Right click, click OK. That looks good, and then let's finish this off with an arc. So I'll click on those two points. Okay, so now that I have this B outlined, I'll go ahead and finish the sketch. 
and then I'm going to click on extrude and I'll click on that B and um, in terms of extruding how far I want this to extrude out um, we just want this to be the thickness of the wood um, which is uh, like 0.18 is good okay and then I can click OK and there we go so I used now notice as soon as I click OK the image disappears but still I got this letter so in order to trace items um, you're just gonna have to you can again you click on start a 2d sketch um, you can insert the image from right here find download find whatever image you want and then you can trace out the image right there now as soon as you extrude it again the image that you traced out will disappear but you should still have the letter so hopefully this is helpful um, and hopefully this will help you on your sign project let me know if you have any questions